I'm Liesl Tesh and home for me is Woi Woi on the beautiful central coast of New South Wales. So I moved from Paris to Woi Woi, I lived in Spain, I've lived in Italy, I've grew up in New Zealand, Brisbane, Newcastle and Woi Woi. I got offered a job here at Brisbane Water Secondary College. I googled Woi Woi and thought, wow, water on three sides, it was time for me to come home and so Woi Woi it is and it's a fantastic choice, I love it here. To be here in I don't know, the serenity, the pelicans, the ducks, the beaches, the bush, the silence. It's the perfect solution for me. The spark that gets me up every day, I don't know, is possibility. And not knowing what's going to be out there and knowing that you can make a difference if you really try. Like knowing that you can, it's not just with kids, with people. I don't know, some days you don't feel like having go at people's attitudes and some days you really feel like, you know what, it's about living. It's about possibility, it's about the being the best you possibly can. Go out there and make the most of it. Or you can get on the couch. Your choice. I'm a high school teacher and that's what pays the bills, but I do a lot of other things as well. Like I, I've just set up an NGO working with people with disabilities and people without disabilities in developing countries and indigenous communities using sport as a tool for change in communities. Teaching for me, I fell into teaching. I didn't really mean to be a teacher. I think I was going to be an environmentalist and I was going to be out there, I don't know, hanging off the front of the Rainbow Warrior. Then I fell off my bicycle and broke my back. So wheelchair use and environmentalism is a pretty tough gig. I think more than anything else, breaking my back's taught me to take opportunities. And opportunities that have come have just been incredible. And just to grab the moment and live for what you live for the moment and live for who you are and just grab what's there and listen to what's around you and go with the flow and having the opportunity to do that I think having been brought up with the resilience and the I don't know the braveness to be able to go out there and do what you can like and I've done things that I would never have done had I not broken my back I suppose as a kid I was really fitting into health and into life and played all the sport and sailed and swam and you name it and then when I was in hospital like two months lying in bed a friend bought a little foam basketball and I had a little backboard and I used to shoot baskets in bed and one of the physios said would you like to try wheelchair basketball so if I went to the basketball stadium when you're using a chair and just life's over you go into this stadium and there's people in wheelchairs who are going fast and having fun and got jobs and cars and lives and possibility and as a basketballer mate the New South Wales girls were stoked a girl who could catch so I made the New South Wales team and then the Aussie team so five Paralympics later being healthy and fit's part of my life and it's just normal for me to go out there and go for a bike ride, do a fitness session, have a swim, have a paddle, whatever, and involve other people in that process as well. After the Beijing Paralympics and a bronze medal, I took off up to Tibet and Tibet's the top of the world for me and it's a place I've always wanted to go and it was magic. It was silence and it was peace and it was a place of being that you don't get anywhere else in the world I've never found before and for me then getting to base camp Everest base camp just was a symbol that I could do whatever I wanted it was a really powerful symbol that there were no limits the only limits you create for yourself are in your mind um, I've actually been at the moment to five Paralympic Games I've got two silver medals and a bronze medal and I in wheelchair basketball so basketball has been my passion I did the Sydney to Hobart a couple of years ago on a boat called Sailors with Disabilities and they made a documentary on it and one of the Paralympic sailors saw the doco and called me up to have a sail and said do you want to come to Miami next week and it was summer holidays I'm like okay and we won three out of three regattas and then I ran basketball and sailing parallel for a while and hopefully I'm about to be named in the Paralympic sailing team for London 2012 when I'll get the gold medal maybe by then I can get on the couch I'll have all three in the set so we'll wait and see community is an amazing thing and I love being part of Woi Woi the peninsula has got this amazing sense of community and being part of a community that is my sport community we come together and I meet people every weekend or every week to play sport and I like my brothers and sisters they're closer like they're like cousins I've got communities that I've been involved with around the world that I still keep in contact with. You rock back up to a small community in remote South Africa and you embrace people like they are your brothers. Community is friendships, but also the strength you create from being together and the possibility and dreams and then working to achieve those dreams together to create change in what's going on in your lives. The future for me is, I suppose, as sport 
in, in a formal organised sense fades once I do get that gold medal is then creating sport for other people. So Sport Matters is a small NGO that's growing and growing and growing because I know the benefits of bringing people together in communities around the world to play sport and one person's good by themselves but a whole community of people has the power to create massive change. If I could inspire my community to do one thing, I'd say get active, get up and have a real crack at life because life's great and life's exactly what you make it.